This is this is a overview of the Hollywood Design Realty System, and um, today is the third uh, of October. And what we're looking at over here is to refresh the screen. First and foremost, the overview of the home page. As we can see, here is the property of the week. Um, that can be swapped out very simply. And just by rolling over any of these uh, properties, as we scroll down, they can be had a look at in terms of uh, their availability or not, as the case with this one's in escrow. Um, and the system will be explained shortly. But as you can see here, this information here is actually a Google Doc. This takes us to the neighborhood page, which as we can see here is Hollywood Land. Nice picture of the young Humphrey Bogart, all the information about the origins of Hollywood Land going back. This can be shared in a number of different ways via the share button at the top or via the social media bar at the bottom. As we can see here, we've also got a map showing where it is, and this can be satellite view or hybrid, I'm going back to the normal map or from the page. In addition, you don't have to go back to the hot properties page because all of the current available properties are also down on the right hand side of the page. So that uh, reduces uh, the amount of wasted navigation because from a property page you can go to another property page. Very important over here, the Google Form. And this is very important because obviously what we want to do is to collect as many names and addresses of potential buyers as possible. These forms are extended to the sold page because many people come to the sold page and then they look at a property and go, oh, I really like that property. And then they come across the help form and they fill it out. Um, again, all of this information is a Google Doc. And there's the neighborhood information so we can find out about uh, Hollywood. Um, this is all about the uh, Hollywood uh, Reservoir and who lived there and when they lived there, etc., etc. Very important information which is contained on all the neighborhood pages. And it's these neighborhood pages which do get a lot of traffic and also help greatly with the indexing by Google because they contain a lot of original writing. Back to the Hot Properties page. As we scroll down the page, we see that the majority of properties are actually sold. And that's pretty important because what we found is that people like to see, particularly uh, people that want to list their houses, just how many houses have in fact been sold by Hollywood Hills Homes. And as we can see here, there's a little box which tells us about the open houses. And this is also very important. This is all linked to the blog with a little bit of a, uh, uh, an intro. Um, this particular blog, uh, the Obama speech on, se on uh, September the 9th, got a um, very substantial amount of uh, traffic, over a thousand views, just on that blog alone. Um, and similarly, the uh, blog on the market crash on August the 21st got a very substantial number of traffic uh, views, uh, well over a thousand in fact. Going back to the home page, what we also see is that um, as we scroll down the page, some very important information. Uh, our clients, we're very happy to say, have uh, topped a billion in sales. Obviously, that's since they first started. Uh, but we've been with uh, Hollywood Hills Homes uh, for the last uh, six and a half years. On the right-hand side here, very important again, the testimonials. And we can see over there which property that refers to. So if people want to see you know, which house was sold, they can see it over there, as we can see and then they can scroll through all various pictures. Now, very important for getting those all important listings. And what we've also included now, and this is a, uh, a new item, is a make an offer. So that you can actually click on that and then fill out the form. Again, very useful information to obtain from potential buyers and make an offer on the property. Or just keep that information and be able to uh, suggest properties to the client. So all of the properties on the 
sold page and also on the current listings will have this make an offer. We're just building that up right now. Okay, moving on. One of the great advantages of having an, a large number of services that are available, art galleries for example in a luxury area, is that people do actually look at these things and most importantly that part of the service that is being offered by the realtor for a given area to provide all the art galleries, flooring, etc, etc. Because this greatly helps with page rank because it shows that the realtor has very strong roots in the local area by providing this as a service to people. And as we can see, we've got everything from home builders to home uh, electronic systems, uh, home theater, stones and tiles, etc., etc., etc. And this rounds up the website by showing a wide variety of home services which are also being indexed and so therefore provide better page rank for our client. All of this left hand menu page, of which there are approximately 110, I believe, uh, items with menu and sub menu items, um, are all Google Docs. Running across the top, these are the only pages that are actually embedded into the system and that's what we're going to do now. We're going to have a look at how this all works. Now, very straightforwardly, this is a web application and so we log in very straightforwardly with the password. Log in with the password and this takes us to the administrative section. Now, looking at this from the point of view of the control of the system, this menu section over here is able to be controlled from the Google Doc listing. And as we can see, we've got all of the various items over there and they can all be edited. And here's one we did earlier, as they say. There's the Google Doc that is the text that's in the page that's the name of the page and it can have a parent or it can become a parent-daughter relationship so we can have menus and submenus. In addition we can embed video just put the embed code in there and just save it very straightforward. So to create a new menu item we go back add a GD link give it a name give it a title give the Google Doc its link over there make sure it's a parent or whatever or the original file, give it a name, and we're ready to go. Very straightforward. And as we can see, here's one we did earlier, as they say. There we are. There's got this one happens to have an, in, an embedded video in it, and that's the Google Doc link over there. Just press save, and everything's ready to go. And this one's a parent, but he could equally be a daughter. Fine. Now moving on to the properties. Each one of these items, for example, Heather Drive or Pelham, basically takes us to a property page. How is that property page created? Well, pretty straightforward. What we do is we go to our property listings and in a similar manner, we add a property by putting a title, whether it's offered, new or whatever, give it a price, give it an address, Choose the zip file. Now the zip file is basically all of the JPEGs that are going to go into the slideshow. We'll come to that in a moment. Put the Google Doc link in, which is the text from a Google Doc. Any video can be added and then add the property to the listing. Here's one we did earlier, as they say. And if we look at that one that we were just looking at earlier, Pelham Place, there's the Google Doc listing. There's the information, and if we want to edit that information, let's go back over there, we can see the image order for that particular property. There it is, and we can move the image order around. So, for example, just move that over there, um, you know, make sure it's in the order that we want it to be. Very straightforward, move things around like that, and all of those pictures can then be published. And that's it. To have a look at it, do a preview, and there's the slideshow going through 
one at a time. Very straightforward. And you just go through one, two, three, four, like that. Okay. Um, in addition to that, when the property is uploaded, go back to our render Pelham, we can see here that the address is extremely important. And what then happens is that the Google map is automatically created from the address. The forms are also automatically embedded in the uh, pages automatically, as is the mortgage calculator, as are all of these other properties. Now, other important aspect is that people are, in our opinion, much more likely to fill out a form by giving you their name and address and so forth. It's a Google form. And we've, uh, we've proven that. Here we are in Google Docs. Here's the form that people complete. And by just going to the bottom of the form, we can see all the responses. And as we can see, there are many, 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 many filled out forms with literally hundreds of multimillionaires that want to buy houses. Here we can see uh, 700,000 to 1.25 million and we can see from the dates from 2010 to 2011 um, literally every day or two uh, somebody pops in there with a request for a multi-million dollar house it just goes on and on and on and on and here we can see around 1.5 million 3,000 square feet that's from 2010 and as we move into 2011 literally on a daily basis there we've got two on the same day the 19th, the 28th, it just goes on and on and on and on and on and on. Because people are much more likely to fill out a Google form because they trust Google. And as you can see, it's right up to the current period in time, going through to uh, 2011 here. And we've got many, many addresses and many, many emails from these forms. Very successful. Now the system is able to accommodate up to 500 properties. And as we can see, we've got a number over here. Now you can see that some of these are red because for whatever reason they've been taken off. And at the bottom, you can just tick one and it'll be taken off the main site. So for example, we wanted to take Tereco off. We just go down to the bottom and we disable it. And then you'll see that Tereco if we go back to 500, somewhere down here, as you find, Tereco, there it is, has been disabled. That means it's not appearing. Make it appear again. Just click Enable. Very straightforward. Now, there are many other aspects to the site, one of which is very important, which is SEO, Search Engine Optimization. And we've got one for properties, and that basically enables us to add an SEO page. We go down to the page that we want to SEO, like Zerada or whatever it happens to be, and then we put in the meta title, meta content, description, and so forth. Here's one, we, as we say, we did earlier. And there's the SEO information, meta title, meta description, meta keywords. This saves a lot of time because it automatically updates the information that is seen by the search engines inside the application itself. Other things we can do is we can sort the order of the properties. So for example, if we want to rejig the home page, we just literally move it around by just moving that there. So that if a, if a property goes into escrow, it's gonna be moving further down the page, whereas all the current listings are gonna be moving towards the top. And that's easily achieved just by moving them around like that, and then just set the order and it's automatic. Now we're back in Google Docs and we're just going to show you how the system works. As we can see here, we've got a uh, bit of text. And what we're going to do over here is we're going to just change it around a bit and show you how in real time this system actually works. Everything else is included in this property. And we'll just save that. And if we go now to Pelham, which we can do very straightforwardly by going to Property Listing, go to Pelham, 
preview it. And as we go down the page, you can see that it is already in the page and already published. Any change in the Google Doc immediately updates the website. So if you make a mistake in the property description or you want to add something that was missed out, rather than having to go to the webmaster and all the, all the, uh, all the, the, the rigmarole that that involves, you just log into your Google Doc and you update the page, press save, and the page is updated. And that's one of the major, uh, major advantages of the system because it means that you can control the content of your own website literally with a Gmail account. It's that simple. Now, there are other aspects that can be uh, undertaken over here. Um, you know, you can put in brochures, you can uh, change the open houses, for example, um, on the home page. But we can go into all of those details at a later time. Um, suffice it to say that this is a full blow blown editor as well for all of the top menu pages but broadly speaking this is a Google Doc Google applications driven system and we believe it is one of the most advantageous ways in which to sell property and the results can be seen very straightforwardly here in Google Analytics and here's the results now this site's been up under continuous improvement and uh, development since 2008 but looking at it from the point of view of January the 1st to October the 3rd of this year we can see that we've had nearly 60,000 visits with 300,000 page views um, an average of five pages per visit a bounce rate of 34 percent average time on site four minutes and 71 percent are new visits from all over the world and looking at that from the uh, the view the report we can see that there's virtually no country in the world where we haven't had a visit from. As we can see, there we are, 139 from Russia, Ukraine even, Belarus, Poland 354, United Kingdom 5,000, obviously the United States 36,000, but literally everywhere in the entire world comes to Hollywood Hills homes. And here's why. If we go to Hollywood Hills, as a search term because I'm on Chrome there we are there's Wikipedia at the top there's Google and there we are in the first position outside of Google and Wikipedia which obviously are mega sites and we can put any other term in like Hollywood Hills real estate and we can see there we are, Hollywood Hills, Homes, second position today. And the importance of those keywords and the importance of being able to rank for keywords is seen in terms of the traffic and the keywords. Now, as we can see here, 75% of that traffic came from search engines. Google itself provided 38,000 visits. And if we look at those keywords, we can see that we rank for 8,225 keywords, which sent 45,000 total visits. Obviously, the main ones are Hollywood Hills, Hollywood Hills Real Estate, Homes, etc. But, as can be seen over here, if we go to 500, there are literally hundreds, in fact, there are thousands of keywords every conceivable combination of real estate, Hollywood, real estate, mansions, uh, estates, etc., 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 we are covering. And the reason is that we have 500 pages worth of content that covers everything that you could possibly want in the hills, from a flooring to a pool guy to uh, the history of the hills to all of the information which Google regards as being of paramount importance because they send us the majority of our traffic as can be seen from the search engines, Google themselves send us tens of thousands of words, uh, of, 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 uh, uh, of uh, traffic, uh, visits, should I say, um, based on the keywords in the website. Hollywood Hills, 6,000 just on those words alone. But there's plenty over there, and as we can see, there's 6,933 keywords that we're ranking for. So that's one of the reasons why Hollywood Hills Homes it outsells its nearest five competitors combined. 
and obviously we're very happy for our clients and we'd like to extend this into other areas now that we've completed the development work on this system.